Hi guys, I'm back with a new Charlie and Lola book and it's called I Am Not Sleepy and I Will Not Go to Bed. So let's begin. I have this little sister Lola. She is small and very funny. Sometimes I have to keep an eye on her. Sometimes mum and dad ask me to try and get her off to bed. This is a hard job because Lola likes to stay up late. Lola likes to stay up colouring and scribbling and sticking and wriggling and bouncing and most of all chattering. Usually when I say, Lola, mum says it's time for bed. She says, no, I'm not sleepy and I will not go to bed. I say, but all the birds have gone to sleep. She says, but I am not a bird, Charlie. But you must be slightly sleepy, Lola, I say. Lola says, I am not slightly sleepy at six or seven or eight, and I am still wide awake at nine and not at all tired at ten, eleven, twelve. And I will probably still be perky at even thirteen o'clock in the morning. Lola says she never gets tired. One night I said, but if there's no bedtime, there can be no bedtime drink and it's pink milk tonight. Lola really likes pink milk. Are you sure you don't want to go to bed? But Charlie, said Lola, if I have pink milk, the tigers will want pink milk too. Tigers, I say. What tigers? The tigers at the table, Charlie. They're waiting for their bedtime drink. Tigers get very cross if they have to wait. So I make Lola and three tigers pink milk. Then I say, let's go and brush our teeth. So Lola says, but Charlie, I can't brush my teeth because somebody is eating my toothbrush. But who would eat your toothbrush? I say, Lola says, I think it's that lion. I saw him brushing his teeth with my toothbrush and now he's gobbling it all up. But this looks like your brush, Lola, I say. Oh, says Lola, he must be using yours. So Lola and one lion brush their teeth. Then I say, you have to have a bath. You look a bit grubby. Who says, said Lola. Mum does, I say. She's coming to check in one minute. And then what do you think Lola says? But Charlie, I can't have a bath because of the whales. What whales? Where? I say looking about. The whales who are swimming in the bath. They're taking up all of the room, she says. Well, what do you want me to do about it? I ask. Maybe you will have to help me shoo one of them down the plug hole, says Lola. So I help Lola shoo one whale down the plug hole. And then Lola hops into the bath. Now, Lola, I say, where are your pyjamas? I don't have any pyjamas, Charlie, he, she says. I say, what about these ones under your pillow? Those are not my pyjamas, says Lola, shaking her head. Oh no, those pyjamas belong to two dancing dogs. Well, do you think they would let you just borrow their pyjamas? I ask. Maybe, says Lola, but you will have to go and telephone them. And off I go to telephone the two dancing dogs. What are they saying? Lola asks. They say, pyjamas suit you better than them. You can wear them whenever you like. That's nice of them, she says. And so Lola pops on her pyjamas. At last, Lola is ready for bed and I say, Now, Lola, I have given three tigers their bedtime drink and watched a lion gobbling my toothbrush and shooed one whale down the plug hole and telephoned two dancing dogs about pyjamas. Now, will you please hop into bed? Lola says, Yes, yes, Charlie. I'm hopping, I'm hopping. But Charlie, says 
says Zelda. Oh, don't tell me, I say. I bet I can guess. There's a huge hippopotamus in your bed. And do you know what Lola says? Don't be silly, Charlie. I won't let a hippopotamus get into my bed. But I think there's one in yours, says Lola as she climbs into bed. Good night, Charlie. Good night, hippopotamus. Good night, Lola. That's the end of the story and I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe and like this video for more fun stories. Bye-bye.